right guys good morning and welcome back to another golf holics vlog we have Paige with us again so we're doing three three hole challenges the first three holes we are doing a three club challenge <laughs> we have all decided we're going to use our three wood mm -hmm. a seven iron and then a wedge of our choice so either a 60 58 54 whatever you want to use and then for the next three holes, we're doing a pin out. So there'll be no pins on the greens. We don't know where we're going or what's happening. And then the last three holes, we're going to do find a bunker. So you have to find at least one bunker on the three holes. And it could be a fairway bunker, it could be a greenside bunker, anything you want. But if you do not hit in the bunker, you have to hit it in the bunker before you can get back out. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be hard. Uh, a little hard <laughs> and it's gonna be a little boys versus girls today too. Yeah, excited for that. Mm -hmm. So we're getting a team up together and hopefully take the boys down. Yeah. <laughs> we have Mike behind the camera and his partner today is going to be... Steven, he's the man behind my camera <laughs> for everything. Uh, so it's to be a little cameraman action against, yeah. I guess, some golfers. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I think they just called us cameramen. All right. It's all we're good for. All right, all right. Well, he, he gets to play pretty much every time you see me on the golf course. Um, he's playing, so he's a pretty good golfer. And uh, we know Mike is too. So it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a battle today. The comments down below. Let us know if you like this. If you like to see us struggle, have a little <laughs> bit of a hard time. And also, if you've done these challenges before too, love to hear from you guys. with seven iron off the tee just like uh, my partner over there and I'm going seven iron again. Steve had a great seven iron down. He's, he's probably got about 155. Oh, he did a really good job cutting down on that. Just a little bit right of the pin. Oh, what a golf shot right there. Nice. What do you got, Paige? I have 151 and um, well, my only option is a seven iron. So we're gonna go with that. <laughs> Oh, this looks great. It's all over it. Just a little right of the pin. And <laughs> what a golf shot that was. Oh man, these girls are hustling us out here. Paris pushed that three wood just a tiny bit in the rough. What do you got? Um, Yeah, so I have 155 left here. Same thing, I have to hit my seven iron and uh, everybody's on the green, so there's a little <laughs> pressure here. Oh, Paris jumped on this just a little bit to the left. And I think she's in that greenside bunker. So we got three balls on, Paige is right here, Steven's over there, and then I'm pin high just to the right, right near the fringe. And then uh, Paris is in this greenside bunker. That was a really good shot. Ball was below her feet. She just had to get it on. Well done. <laughs> no, he did it. Oh, oh my gosh. All day. All day. Oh man, I don't know how that went in, but uh, that was a great three. Just feeling it right now. Uh, a lot of filming, a lot of good stuff. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying all these videos that Paris and Paige are doing. Doing a fantastic job out here, and uh, boys are up one. Hole number two, par five, 476. It looks like a dog leg left. You wanna hit it up that right side and then it looks like it falls down to the green, uh, blind green from the tee box. Paige uh, hit one dead center again. Uh, she's going three wood. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have like 280 um, in, so um, 
Seven iron is not the play, so we're gonna go three wood. She hit good, just up the left side. She's gonna have a tough little chip over there though with a seven iron. Yeah, I didn't think through that one. <laughs> As I was standing over, I was like, I should probably go like seven iron, seven iron. Uh, but no, we went three wood and now we're just gonna have a little chip seven iron. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Dang. <laughs> Paris just went a little bit left and she's going three wood. Oh, and she just barely got through those trees and it's dead center, good shot. Hit that three wood a little bit right, I'm in the right rough, ball's really above my feet. Just gonna hit a little chippy seven iron and uh, kind of get back in play. Steven bombed that three, three wood, he's got seven iron left. Because <laughs> that's all we have. <laughs> we got three clubs in our bag. Uh, he hit this one well, just a little right of the pin. Page laid up just barely outside the bunker. 579 yards, um, which is good. So that's a good 54 for me. And we're just gonna try to get as close as possible because Steven is fairly close in two. So birdie's kind of the only option that we have here. <laughs> so we gotta go for it. <laughs> okay, she caught it just a bit heavy and she's in the front part but she's putting for birdie. So I have 70 yards left here. Um, like Paige said, Steve's pretty close, so we're just gonna get as close as possible. All right, I got 60 yards, going with my 60. I'm just gonna try and do a little one hopper stopper. Uh, I just hit that little chip in there, I probably got about five, and then Paris went a bit long. She's got a little chip coming down the hill. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That was, a, that was a tough one. Good birdie. We just... are two down through two, but you guys have a little bit of advantage because they hit it a lot farther than <laughs> we do. But I think we're going to get them, especially on the last three holes. So we just need to stay in it until we uh, can get there. Because yeah. I think we're going to dominate that. I mean, I've definitely. seen our bunker play. I definitely know Steven's bunker play. So we got that one in the bag. We just have to um, win the next hole or tie and then uh, hopefully pin out when it's some. Um, Back to some real golf, not this three club stuff. <laughs> this is hole number three, it's 303. There's water along the left side. It looks like there's a little uh, ravine or something in between. So you're gonna have to lay up before you then go to the green. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> this is gonna be a bit tricky for the girls with going either seven iron or three wood. Um, it's all about strategy on this hole. It makes it a little bit harder when you are only with three clubs. <laughs> Steven, he went seven iron. I forgot to hit record. And uh, I think it's somewhere up there. We have a dilemma. I have 165 to the pin, um, which I can't get a seven iron there. Not that strong. And three woods, a bit of a challenge because there is a ravine here. So I wanna, I'm worried if I carry it too far, that's gonna roll off the back. So I think I'm gonna end up taking seven iron and then rely on my short game. Hopefully just getting up and down from there. Oh, she muscled this seven iron up there. This looks really good. It could be just right in front. Yeah, yeah <laughs> that was awesome. The muscled seven iron, I think, was the play. <laughs> Got 180, uh, I'm going seven iron. So I have uh, 134 left. Um, stock seven iron is like 155, so I gotta take about 20 yards off of this and just kind of feel it out. Oh, she took it right at the pin. It's drawn over just a little bit. 
She's a little deep, but she's on. I'm just left of the pin. I got about 25. Paige came up just a little bit shy of the green, but she's got an easy up and down. Oh! Really good hands right there. Good speed, tough shot. two up through three we have that hole which was what we needed to do mm -hmm. and now we're switching to no pin in for the next three holes um and we're back to full bag thank yeah, goodness thank god that was not that was not our thing no uh, the guys crushed it with that it was actually really impressive yeah yeah uh, they see. actually played pretty good so i guess that's my karma for calling them the cameraman <laughs> So this is hole number four. We do not know the yardage because we are playing this hole completely blind. So no pin, no yardage, all feel. Paige just came in and turned off our monitor. Uh, we did not see what the yardage was. We are still playing blind. We weren't going to look at the yardage. She just assumed that we would. I think that's what hurts the most. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I do not know how far I have. I'm guessing around 110 yards. I'm just gonna aim for the middle of the green, try and play a little draw, and uh, anywhere on would be good. I do not know the yardage. I do not know where the pin is. I'm just going to go center. It looks like it's about 80, 85. We're gonna go with that. Just gonna go center the green. That way, if the pin's either on the right or the left, um, we'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she uh, clipped it pretty good. Just on the left side, it looks like, right by my ball, right in front. She's gonna get a read from wherever that is. Not a bad play right there. Steven's just right in front. And he clipped this one really well. Looks like it's pretty much center of the green, right in front. Yeah, I think it was playing a little bit longer than we thought. We're all a little bit in the front part of the green, but it's part of the fun. Looks like Paris is switching clubs after she saw all three of us. Yeah, I'm pretty short. Um, the pin was in the front on the last hole, so I would guess that it's not in the front again. So I'm gonna take a number that's probably middle, middle back, but I'm gonna play it about 90 and just see what happens. Yeah, that was smart. Advantage going last on this. I think we're gonna learn our lesson. All right, she did exactly what she said she was gonna do. Middle back. Now that we've approached the green, I think that's me and Steve right there. I think this is Paige. And then Paris went long. She was smart. She, she got a chance to watch us, learn from our mistakes, realize that the pin is right there, back left. And uh, she, she really, uh, she was smart. She, she thought the first hole the pin was in front and uh, for this one, she realized it was in the back and she's probably got a little 25, 30 footer from uh, above the pin. Wow, that was an A plus right there. Good speed, good par. Okay, that was another good putt, good par, easy enough. Right, so no blood there. Pars, you know. A couple of pars. <laughs> Girls are hanging in there, but we'll definitely need to get one back. <laughs> this is hole number five. It's straight uphill. Again, we do not know where the pin is, and we also don't know the yardage. It looks fairly short just from eyeballing it and uh, wide open fairway. Problem. Um, I don't know the yardage. <laughs> I have no feel. I always thought I was a field player, but I'm quickly finding out I have no depth depth 
perception and also no feel. So there's a huge bunker in front and I don't want to be in that. So the goal is to go a little bit longer. I mean, it kind of looks like the same yard as last time. So I'll, I'll, I'm going to go around like one, I'm going to play as like 110. I think that's a good play. She hit it good. It's just, I think it's just dead center. Yeah, she's on uh, middle of the green. It's probably it, it's you know exactly what you wanted to do on that shot. Yeah, it's hard too because the ground's pretty wet. So I, I've been digging on a couple, but again, like you just you don't know, so you're just guessing. And especially on this course too, because there's a lot of elevation changes, um, you definitely need the yardage. So we're we're putting ourselves through it right now. Like this is tough. Yeah, those 40, 50 footers that we had on the last hole were pretty fun though. Right? Were, practice your lag fun. putting? Yeah, you practice lag putting. Um, all of these fun games that we're doing, like the three club challenge, uh, taking the pin out, and especially the next one where you have to hit the bunker, forces you to play the course a little bit differently. So you get to work on touch and feel, and you have to be creative out here. And so it challenges you, but it also really improves your golf game. And sometimes I know, like I get a little bored just doing the same thing over and over again. So coming out here with your buddies and betting and doing these games really makes it really fun and interesting. And it really helps your game too so try them out looks like uh steven just ended up in the top right rough he's probably got about 115 or 20 yards oh looks good should be yeah he's on good shot paris ended up in the uh the left rough she's got a little bit of a side hill lie Oh, got caught up in the rough right there. That's gonna be a tough one. I think I got about 65 yards. I'm gonna go with my lob wedge and just try and hit it full. We got three on again. Uh, looks like the pin was uh, front left. Looks like Paige is uh, pin high, just right of it. And then I'm right behind her, so I'm gonna give her a read. And then uh, Steven is right here in front and Paris is just in the uh, first cut on a pretty severe slope and she's gonna chip it in. Yeah, really good touch right there. And she's probably got about six feet right below the pin. Uh, but we're gonna win the next one. I know it. I feel it and then we're gonna then switch over to the next three Which are the bunker challenge and I'm really excited about that one. That one's gonna be brutal, but a lot of fun <laughs> 